Uh, good afternoon. Uh, to start off, I just want to talk about uh, really three things. You know, we talked about what we're looking for in this game is, you know, first of all, the game day operation, you know, and, and how we did as a group. You know, and I was, as you saw me, I was taking notes out there a lot today just to make sure we get everything cleaned up in terms of the pregame operation, in-game operation, and then any post-game operation we have tomorrow as we go through and evaluate these guys. So uh, we have a step-by-step -step process which we go through. Um, and again, there's, there's some things that we got to get cleaned up uh, throughout the day uh, that went on. But, uh, and then really evaluating scheme in-game. You know, so I'm excited about getting that uh, done for the offense, defense, and special teams as we start to evaluate our scheme. And I think the, the guys did well. You know, just an overarching view of it. The guys operated well. There was no pre-snap penalties, you know, very few penalties at all. Um, I thought the kicking game operated really nice. Um, and really, the defense uh, played well, you know, in the second half, did a nice job of setting some short fields. I thought we played complimentary football to win the football game. Uh, we had a goal at, at halftime to get that done, and the guys came through with that. So that was, that was exciting in terms of the scheme. You know, and then really player evaluation. You know, there's some good performances out there today, and uh, guys can learn. You know, the biggest thing when you play sport, okay, any sport, you look at your individual responsibility and your individual performance and then how can I get better so if you had 60 plays and you played great in 58 of those but hey two plays I got to get better at something uh, we need to work on that this week you know in every single practice and they're going to get with the coaches where I always say they partner together coach player player coach to make our football team better okay and that's truly a partnership and to me that's the big process we're going through here right now um, so you know then I thought there's a lot of good uh, foundational pieces out there. You know, you talked about our how the effort in which we play, the intensity in which we play, you know, the, the taking the ball away and taking care of the football and then being smart in situations. I thought it was good. I thought it was good. A lot to learn from. There's a lot of situations we can learn from. But again, I thought the energy and the intensity was right. Uh, again, we took the ball away a couple of times on the short field. And we protected the ball on offense, which is, which is really good. So I'm excited to get to be able to do that. Um, I will open it up to questions from there. At 18 snaps for Justin in the, the first year of offense without seeing the film. What's your, what's your initial assessment? Of yeah, I thought it was good. I thought he operated good. Uh, I thought he was, you know, I know he had a couple of drops there. They dropped a couple of balls there, uh, you know, but we'll get that cleaned up. You know, we got to take those layups when he's checking the ball down um, and get those yards, but we'll get that cleaned up. That's not an issue. Um, but overall, it was good. His operation was good. In and out of the huddle was good. We had a challenge on the sideline where I think he hurried up, you know, uh, up to get to the line so the guy, uh, the opponent couldn't throw the challenge flag, um, which was good. We got the playoff and did a nice job operating there. Uh, but overall, it was, it was a good performance. Do you wish he would have come away with points just for his own confidence? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're trying to score touchdowns every every uh, drive. You know, that's what we do. So certainly we like that. But we like that he got his, you know, got his 18 plays in there and, uh, you know, he got to work. That third down deep ball that he hit, uh, I think it was sharp on the sideline when he's, you know, hanging in the pocket. What, what does that say to you just about the way that he's able to sense that sort of pressure but also, you know, be patient through it and still make a play? Yeah, I think that's uh, – we saw that, you know, that was part of practice. You know, we were letting him extend plays, throw the ball down the field, and I think you saw it there. You know, he's got great instincts. You know, he's an instinctual player, and he has to harness that and use that, and he's doing that right now. Matt, he was sacked a couple of times. Does it make you a little bit uneasy seeing him running around in the pocket, especially with the fear of injury early in the preseason? Yeah, we'll look, we'll look at all those plays. You know, I, and again, I can't rewind them in my, in my mind right now, but we'll look at those plays, where the pressures were, how we can firm it up. You know, was it a situation where we need to do a better job with our pass sets or whatever that might be? But uh, we'll get that cleaned up. I realize it's just a preseason game, but it's the first game you've ever been the head coach of. Um, did you have a, a pregame speech ready or a speech last night ready? What was it like you, for you on a personal level to be in charge on game day, which you never really have? Yeah, it was it was exciting. You know, it's a long time coming, and I thought it was exciting. I think the coaches did an outstanding job with the game day operation, uh, you know, including the coordinators being able to communicate with those guys, with Getze, with Allen, with Hightower. Um, they did a really a phenomenal job. We were all on the same page the entire day when we were going for it, when we were punting, field goal, that whole operation. Uh, and it was it was prior to, you know. So, you know, first down, you're telling Getsy, hey, we're, we're uh, go for it on one, you know three to one here, you know, uh, you know three or less. So I thought that operation was it was really good. And then the, you know, moving from unit to unit, 
you know, that was was really good. Going from get in field goal team or punt team. But overall, it was great. I really enjoyed the moment. Um, I soaked it in when we were doing the national anthem, you know, so I think that was uh, pretty, a cool moment for me, sitting out there and uh, locking arms together. So uh, that was nice. Yeah, I know you prepared, I know you prepared for this as a staff. Was there anything you had to do as a head coach that you weren't prepared for, or you didn't realize a head coach had to worry about during the game or an official walk up to you, ask you a question? Yeah, I didn't realize how much you talked to the officials during the game. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of conversation going on, but uh, those guys did great. You know, those guys were with us the whole week and they educated our players and they did a phenomenal job educating, you know, the coaches sitting there in the position meetings and talking to us. And really, we're just trying to learn. We're trying to play an aggressive style and play it a smart way. And the only way to do that is if you learn and educate yourself on the rules. So those guys did a phenomenal job this week. You know, on top of the operation, obviously, you got to use the red, the red challenge flag and you used it successfully. Can you yeah. just through the process of how the communication went and, and then obviously it led to some, some good things for you? Yeah, I mean, that's that's just all part of it. You know, we were working on that the whole offseason, you know, when to throw, when not to throw, uh, who's communicating to who so the lines are clean up there so you get good information and I thought that was really good really outstanding with all, the, with all the things you have to watch in a game including all the players did, did anything Jaquan Brisker did today make a particular impression on you yeah uh, yeah the, the tackling you know the you know uh the deflecting the ball I think I think he should have had you know maybe a takeaway or two um but he was high energy and man he, he likes to hit you know so I really like that aggressive style for him how he's playing right now Going back to the preparation, you told us about how you were working with Harry, all these video sessions. Yeah. Where you said, oh, yeah, this, this paid off from that preparation where we, we. Yeah, I would say the challenge flag. The challenge flag was one of them, you know, and then all the uh, talking about, you know, when to go, when we're going for fourth downs and getting that information early to Getsy so he can plan his first, second, third going into the fourth down. You know, if you get a first down, fine, it doesn't, doesn't go. But uh, I think that's really helpful to the play caller to be able to get that information early. And then what we're doing early with Hightower also. You know, what are, is our plan? Are we planning on going for it? Are we going to kick? Are we going to punt? You know, there's that quad zone where you're in, the, in between the 40s there where you got a lot of decisions to make. And I thought that was, uh, was good on his part. And there were a few outside runs where the running backs were able to get a few uh, inches to the outside, especially when receivers were holding up their blocks, notably Tajay Sharp. How does it feel for you when you see your receivers playing with such intensity in a preseason game? Yeah. Especially yeah, that, that's just all part of it. You know, we said that with receivers and defensive backs, right? So uh, how you operate and how you do your, your business on those two positions, obviously, you know, DBs cover, receivers catch passes, but there's a second part to that job, and that's blocking. You know, so our receivers are, are part of big plays in a couple ways, the receiving part of it, but also the blocking part of it. And those guys did a nice job with that. And that's, you know, Tyke has done a good job with those guys, working with them, finishing their blocks. And you saw some of that today, which is really good. Does it feel good knowing that you preached intensity in your press conference when you first were hired? Seeing this level of intensity, how does it feel for you as a coach knowing that that culture is being implemented? No, it's good, but it, it goes back to what do you see in practice? You know, whatever's on the grass in practice, you're going to see it on the grass in game day. So it's not a surprise because we've seen it. You know, we've seen them doing it. You know, it's the same thing with, you know, takeaways and protecting the ball and blocking and finishing. Uh, that all has to be done way before you step onto, onto the stage. So the guys did a nice job. And again, this is a preseason game. So they, they, you know, the guys did a nice job. It was our first time out. And uh, we have a lot to improve on. Uh, but we like where they are. Maybe a little bit as a returner, as a runner, as a catcher. What have you learned about him in the last month or so about who he is and how he can help you? Yeah, I, I think he's, uh, he's very competitive. Um, he likes you know when the lights come on. And you can see him compete in practice. And he's, he's a strong runner. And he's obviously got a lot of good speed, too. You know, so he can really turn it on to get the corner or to take it you know, the distance. So we're excited where he is, too. And you know, his blocking. You know, he's doing a better job blocking, finishing runs. Um, that's what we talked to the guys about, how we finish runs, how we finish tackles. Those matter because that's hidden yards for us um, in the game. Matt, do you have any concerns about that playing surface, the NFLPA? President came out and said on Twitter, at least, that, uh, that the NFL needs to do better than how your grass looked. Yeah, I know those guys are, you know, I don't know personally, I'm new here, so I don't really know all the situations, but I know the guys are trying to do their best. And the, the playing surface was passed by the NFL uh, for us to be on. I thought it was firm and it, it was good. Um, you know, so that's where we'll leave it at.